Okay, welcome back everybody. And today I'm gonna to be just walking you through how to make the perfect two pound loaf of white bread inside of the Hamilton Beach bread maker. So this is an all-inclusive device. Now the first thing is you wanna make sure you have a flat surface for the device before we get started. And before you get started with anything, grab your actual bread pan and we can take this out to load the ingredients actually. Um, so you can just pull it out, you just twist and pull it out and make sure you insert one of the paddles inside of the pan. So you can see I have the paddle inserted there. It does come with two paddles. Now what you're supposed to do is put your wet ingredients first. So we're going to start off by adding one and a third cup of warm water. So lukewarm water around room temperature directly into the bread pan right here. So we're going to have that out. I'm going to get one and a third cup of water. Like I said, just lukewarm. So you don't want it too hot. You don't want it too cold. So it has to be warm enough so that yeast can activate, but you don't want it too warm. Now you can use a thermometer for this if you'd want as well, but I just go by a uh, touch of my finger. I find works perfectly fine for this. So we're going one and a third cup. There we go. So we have our one and a third cup there. From there, we're going to actually add our oil. Now you're supposed to use uh, vegetable oil. I am just going to use a little bit of olive oil today. It's only a quarter cup. That's just the kind of oil I have. Now that could give it a little bit of a weird taste, I suppose. Um, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I feel like almost any oil will work. It just depends on the actual taste. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and we want to add our sugar and our salt. <clears throat> Now these are two Im extremely important ingredients in the bread making process. So first is one and a half teaspoons of salt. So I'm just gonna go here and measure one and a half teaspoons. Now you want these measurements as close and as, as accurate as possible when you're making it. Now what you're supposed to do is you're actually supposed to put all your other ingredients. So you want them kind of put together. I just put a little too much salt there, that's okay and you want them all to be in one corner. So I just put all my salt in one corner and now let's grab for our sugar. We need about a tablespoon. <clears throat> so we're gonna grab out our tablespoon right here. We got our sugar and we want two tablespoons of sugar and I'll give you a look at what it looks like inside the bread pan in a second. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar right here. And remember, this needs everything for you too. So now when we look inside, you can see all my sugar and salt is in one side of the container. Obviously the liquid is still free floating. So now what we wanna do is we actually need four and a half cups of bread flour. So I have here normal flour. Uh, I didn't have bread flour, but that's okay. So I, this is pre-measured. You wanna make sure you're extremely accurate with your cups. You don't want packed cups. You want it to be loosely fit when you add it in. And we want all of that flour in there. We don't want to waste any, right? It needs to be extremely precise. This is a machine that runs off of uh, all those measurements. As I'm saying that, I just spill a little bit all over. Okay, so now we got our flour in there. I just gave it a couple little taps. Now the last ingredient is of course our yeast. And for this you need one and three fourths teaspoons of yeast. So what you want to do is at the top of your flour, you want to make a little well for your yeast. Now this is bread yeast. This is slow activation. So you wanna make sure it's very, very accurate. Too much yeast and you're gonna get too big of a loaf. So there is one teaspoon and now we're gonna add three fourths. So here is two, three, four of the one quarter teaspoons. Extremely accurate. I'm gonna make sure all that yeast gets in there. Okay, and that's all the ingredients that we need. So let me show you what it looks like with the little so there we are with the yeast added in there and all the liquid ingredients are at the bottom. So now we wanna to get to our actual bread maker. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bread loaf pan, I guess we can call it, and we're gonna lock it into place by turning it clockwise. So now when you lift it, you can see it does not lift out of place. So that's exactly what you need. Our paddle's already set. Now we can close the lid and you can see I have it on my table here. So it's on a flat surface already. And now we wanna set our settings. So first thing is we want it on cycle one. So that's for one hour. 
uh, sorry, it runs for three hours, cycle one. Now you can pick our crust. Right now it's on medium crust, as you can see from that little arrow right there. You could put dark or light. I do prefer a medium crust, but I also like light. I would never do dark. Now as for loaf, this is a two pound loaf. So as you can see there, it's two pound, not the one pound, it's already preset. So now what we wanna do is just press that start button and you can see inside, it's gonna start mixing our ingredients and it's gonna be on a three hour cycle. So this bread will be done in three hours. We're gonna come back in about an hour and we'll check at where it's at in the proofing process, in the cycle process, uh, and how the bread uh, has turned into bread at that point. So let's come back in a little bit and we'll take a look at our bread maker. 50 minutes into the process, so you can see there's two hours and 11 minutes left. And when we look inside, it's already done mixing and there's a beautiful ball of dough in there. And it's looking like it's already rising. I can really smell the yeast in the room. So we're gonna come back in about an hour and we'll see where the bread is at how much it's risen and what it looks like. Okay, so the bread has about 40 minutes left and you can see it's risen all the way up and you can see how big it is now. Uh, and on top of that, you can start to see the crust developing. It's actually in the baking phase now. So we're gonna check back in in 40 minutes and we'll see what the loaf looks like. Okay, so the bread maker actually just started beeping, so that means it's done. So we're gonna press that stop button and now we're gonna pull our loaf out and I'll We'll take a look at how it looks and then we're going to let it cool before we actually, uh, you know, try cutting it. It's going to be way too hot to start. So to pull it out, you just go inside the container and we're just going to have to pull this little metal handle up here. There we go. Once we pull it up, now it's no issue. Now we want to twist it counterclockwise and now we want to dump our loaf out. Okay, hey, look at that. All right, so I'm gonna put my pan back in there. By the way, I should say that the, the pan is still uh, super clean. So that is one thing to note. So I'm just gonna close that. I'm gonna unplug the back there. And now we can take a look at our beautiful two pound loaf. Take a look at that. So that is the ending product. That's a two pound loaf. Uh, it's a pretty big loaf. Obviously, I'm gonna try to cut it. Wow, I don't even know how I cut this. Probably, that's a very, very big loaf. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna cut some slices from this, but I think we're just gonna go this way. Um, I guess you can cut it across first, and then we'll try making some smaller pieces. But yeah, we'll, we're gonna let this cool for a little bit, and then we're gonna cut into it and see how it looks. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut into this. I've let it now uh, cool for a little bit at least. I probably should let it do it a little bit longer. So now obviously this is a very large loaf, um, by the way. So these are gonna be some massive slices of toast. So in order to fit them in the toaster, you'd probably have to cut them again. But there's kind of the, the cross section right there. Like look how jug jiggly it is. Look at that nice aeration inside the bread there. The nice crispy outside. Let's go ahead and cut another piece here. I'm not the best at cutting bread, so I'm probably doing this wrong, but no, it's okay. It's my first time. Wow, I cannot cut a slice of loaf, a slice of bread apparently. So I cut myself a giant piece, but there is a nice small low slice. We can slice it in again. <clears throat> and now we have like a Texas style cut. Obviously, um, cut your bread straighter than me. That was really bad, but as you can see, and if we put a little bit of butter on it that I have right here, it's still a little too warm to mix it in. Now we can grab it. Mm. And that is just good old style white bread. That is very good bread. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the recipe today and the Hamilton Beach bread maker. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you in